I'm Barkley Pauling, Small Fruit Specialist at NC State in the Department of Horticultural Science. And I want to talk to you about a very important instrument that we use for managing our frost protection in strawberries. Uh, I don't know many crops other than strawberries where this is used, but strawberry growers have fallen in love with these for some good reasons. This is a digital thermometer. It's not inexpensive. It's going to cost you a couple hundred dollars. And in the back of this digital thermometer is a jack which attaches itself to a thermocouple wire, which has a nice Teflon coating. And then at the very end of this wire, we can take the measurement of the air you know, from these uh, exposed wires that have been twisted. There's about a third of an inch of the Teflon was uh, peeled back to expose that area. And right there where those wires are twisted together at that junction, we're taking the air temperature reading. Now, what we like about this device is not only can we take air temperature very efficiently, but we can also measure the blossom temperature, which is the most important temperature of all. And it's been a problem for us for years and years to know exactly what the blossom temperature is. You can't always assume the air temperature and the blossom temperature are going to be the same. And when they do diverge, that could be real trouble for your decision regarding when to start an irrigation system and when to safely shut off. So I'm going to show you now how we use this thermocouple and handheld digital thermometer to bring real precision to these decisions. So first of all, the air temperature right now is about 65 degrees, and sometimes the air temperature can be higher, sometimes it can be lower than the blossom. It has a whole lot to do with humidity in the air. And rather than complicate things, I'm just going to tell you the most important temperature you need to know is the temperature of that blossom. And sometimes it's hard to get that from just a handheld type thermometer. Uh, so what we're going to do now is take this thermocouple wire and insert it or stick it right into the bloom. And I'm going to show you how I do that. I take a, a healthy blossom like you see here. Generally I pick a fairly large one because this thermocouple wire is fairly coarse and it needs to go into a larger bloom for this to be a successful uh, technique. And what I do is I insert that wire just above the base of the bloom. You see that nice yellow dome. That's the uh, uh, part of the, the flower that's going to eventually become the strawberry fruit. And I'm going to insert this wire right into that tissue and then I'm going to leave it there. And I can take readings all through the night, exact readings of what my blossom temperature is. And so let's find out. I've inserted it. You notice what I did here. I inserted that wire completely into the bloom so that none of the wire is exposed to the air. Remember, I'm trying now to measure blossom, not air temperature. So that's why you don't want the wire exposed. And today, let's just have a look and see uh, the blossom temperature is fairly warm. Sometimes, though, we find, especially on frost nights when the air is particularly dry, the blossom temperature can be two to three degrees Fahrenheit lower than the air temperature. Now that's a big difference. And when they diverge in that way, you can make some serious mistakes as to when exactly to turn a system, an irrigation system on and when to turn it off. Now I don't have to be guessing about that. And I can look at this temperature. Obviously we're not in any danger here at 66 degrees. Uh, but we do know that a strawberry blossom cannot endure temperatures much below 28 degrees Fahrenheit. And when you go below 28 Fahrenheit, there's a good chance it will be killed, even in a matter of 10, 15 minutes. And so we use this as a great tool to, to indicate exactly when the crop is going to be in threat of the blossoms being killed. And when we reach usually about 30, 31 degrees Fahrenheit on this digital thermometer, we know it's time to get our irrigation system ready and begin to run it. 